everybody and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win every time. It doesn't matter who you're betting on, we've got you covered. Okay, so we're going to get into some NHL action for February 6th. Before we do, I want to invite you to join so you'll have access to the VIP club section, which has all the tools to help you make your picks. Okay, so let's take a look at some of the games here. So there was four of them that you wanted me to look at, so we're going to take a look at those four. New York Islanders and Philadelphia Flyers, you can see that um, both teams are coming in near the bottom of the division in the Metropolitan Division. Uh, Philadelphia ice cold up, winners of two of their last six. The Islanders are average up, winners of their last two, and also two and four over their last six. You can see the odds are even at 1.97 apiece. So this is pretty much a toss -in game. Um, and the score prediction has it very tight as well. And the Islanders three, Philadelphia two, with confidence in the prediction of about 86%. So a high level of confidence in the prediction, though. Um, let's look at the over-under streak. You can see New York under in their last three and three over in their previous three. So three, three in the last six. While Philadelphia is under in the last game and four over out of their last six. If you look at the power ranks indicator chart, you can see here that um, New York was up at plus 25 back on December 29th. And you can see they've been pretty much on a downward trend, a little bit up, but downward most of the way down to plus 11. And the Philadelphia line, you can see, was at plus 11. They have dipped considerably down to plus 4. If you look at the head-to-head -head matchups, you can see that in the last game, Philadelphia won 3-1 to one on November 29th, while the Islanders won just a few days before 5-2, to two, both winning at home. Um, let's take a look at the volatility oscillator, the stability factor. The teams are both pretty consistent with regard to their favorite underdog stats, plus 11 for New York, plus 8 for Philadelphia. In the end, even though Philadelphia is at home, I kind of like this one to go the way of New York. This conference in prediction of 86% is really high. I'm going that way as well. But I would pass on the over-under in this one. Okay, so for the second one, it was Tampa Bay here and Florida. In this one here, you can see that Tampa Bay comes in at burning hot. They are, they're 4-2 over their last six. And you can see Florida is average. They are... 3-3 three and three over their last six. You can see the odds, though, are in favor of Tampa Bay on the road, 1.75 to 2.252. Um, score predictor has Tampa 4, Florida 3, with confidence in prediction of about 66%. And in this Atlantic Division battle, um, Tampa Bay comes in, you know, the Tampa Bay and Florida both coming in a pretty good position for the playoffs. This will be a good battle. Um, the power ranks indicator shows that Tampa Bay was at plus 19 back on the 24th, and they've increased up to plus 26. But notice the last time anything has been put on this uh, chart was back on January the 28th. Um, same thing for Florida. January 28th was the last thing anything was recorded, and they were at plus 6 at that time. Um, and the volatility oscillator, you can see Tampa Bay is extremely stable, probably among the most stable teams in the league. They're very consistent with regard to their favorite underdog stats, and Florida is pretty consistent as well, but not nearly as much as Tampa Bay. Um, in the end, I like the Lightning in this one in the game going over the line. Okay, the next one we want to look at is Calgary and the New York Rangers. And this one here, Calgary enters in the middle of the pack in the Pacific, and the Rangers are third in the Atlantic, so they've been playing very well. Um, over the last... Six they are three and three average status, and same thing with Calgary three and three over their last six, but they're three and one over their last four. Both teams average status, as I said previously. Uh, but the Rangers are a slight home favorite of 1.892 to 2.055. If you look at the over under, the Calgary has been involved in games over the line in five straight, New York in three straights. So it's a good indication to bet the over. And if you look at the score predictor of four to three. Pretty high number of goals of seven, confidence and prediction of 61%. On the power ranks indicator, you notice that the teams have been up and down as far as that goes, particularly the Rangers, really up and down. They're now at plus 21, and Calgary is at plus 13 at the moment. In the head-to-head -head matchup, the teams have not yet played this year, but look at last year. Last year was all Calgary, 11-1 to combined score, winning both games. The stability factor, let's take a look at this. Um, neither team has been extremely consistent with regard to the favorite underdog stats, both a little bit in the positive, but not very high considering how far we are into the season. 
So what do we think overall is going to happen this game? Well, now let's go back down. This is where we were. Um, in the end, I like the Rangers to get back at the flank. I don't think this, the trend is going to continue in this one. So let's go with the Rangers at home in the game going over the line. Okay, the last one we want to look at, number four, was Anaheim and Dallas. So in this game here, interestingly enough, Dallas is uh, ice cold down. Losers of their last three. Anaheim has won their last three. But don't let that completely fool you. Dallas is still first in their division. Anaheim is last in their division. Just a little uh, hot streak for Anaheim at the moment. But still, Dallas is a huge favorite of 1.35 to 3.62. We take a look at the over-under. Anaheim involving games over in five of the last six. Dallas in three of their last six. Um, the score prediction that does have Anaheim, though. But look at the confidence in prediction. Only 31%. I don't see that this is going to play much of a factor here in the way you, you bet. I think this is going to flip before the game time comes. Or the confidence in prediction will stay very low. Um, the power ranks indicator shows Dallas at plus 25. Anaheim has climbed from 1 up to 10 because of their recent uh, winning streak. Head-to-head, -head, you can see back on January the 4th, it was Anaheim 2-0. Dallas won the previous one on December the 1st, 5-0, both teams winning at home. Uh, I, I think the trend's going to continue. Dallas is playing at home. I like them to win, but I would pass on the over-under bet. So there you have it. Those are the games for the NHL. For February the 6th, happy betting, and we will see you next time.